All right, YouTube, this video is a little bit different than what I have uh, done before. This is a history lesson. I'm um, sorry if it's kind of loud, it's a little windy, and I'm right next to the street. So uh, I'm going to read this pro side sign here for this battle from the Civil War, and then I'm going to lay out the battle as I drive around to the different landmarks. Um, Yellow Tavern, uh, I'm in Henrico County, which is just north of Richmond, Virginia. I see just south of here on Brook Road, present day U.S. Route 1 is the site of Yellow Tavern, north of the tavern on May 11th, 1864, Major General Jeb Stewart deployed his Confederate cavalry to confront Major General Philip Sheridan's Union cavalry as it advanced on Richmond. It was during this engagement that Stewart was mortally wounded. Uh, because of the proximity of the engagement to the tavern, it was officially called Yellow, the Battle of Yellow Tavern. Um, just to give you a bearing of where we are, I'm on the side of Brook Road right now. Um, at the time of the battle, this section of Brook Road was not here. Uh, actually, Brook Road began just on the other side of that uh, the gas station that's past the stoplight. Um, and that's where I'm going to be going in a second. Um, that's where Mountain Road and Telegraph Road intersect. Uh, so remember that for later on. Uh, Mountain Road runs up behind this Wawa's. And that actually is the direction that Sheridan's army came from. And that's going to be the next location that I videotape from, um, is up Mountain Road. And then I'll come back down Mountain Road to Telegraph so you can see where, where it looks like. But like I said, uh, this is Brook Road. I'm facing north. This section of Brook Road was not here. Uh, Brook Road did not begin until about maybe 100 yards, 100, maybe 200 yards that way, and it headed on into Richmond. Alright, well let me, uh, I'm going to move to Mountain Road now and talk there. Alright, so now I am sitting on Mountain Road. Uh, Mountain Road runs that way. It's uh, west, northwest, uh, headed towards the mountains, giving its name Mountain Road. Uh, Mountain Road comes this way, goes to our left, and it heads down to connect with Telegraph. Um, Telegraph was the other main road heading out of Richmond uh, north, um, where Mountain Road and Telegraph connect. Uh, that's where Brook Road would begin, and Brook Road would carry you in on to Richmond. Um, on May 8th, 1864, the Union horsemen, it was about 10,000 of them, uh, slipped away from Spotsylvania Courthouse and rode south to Richmond looking for a fight. Um, they were looking for Jeb Stewart. They were led by Sheridan. Um, Sheridan wanted to find Stewart and thought that he could beat him. Stewart, meanwhile, was up north also, and he thought that Sheridan was headed to Richmond, and he rode uh, basically overnight, nonstop, from up north where they were trying to beat Sheridan to Richmond. Um, so while Sheridan's army was coming from this direction across the street, they were coming this way. Uh, they were about an hour behind Stuart. Now Sheridan's men were not in as much of a hurry, so they were a little well more well rested. But uh, Jeb Stuart's army was pretty pretty tired when they got there. But they got there first, and that's where we're going to head next to where they began to set up um, along this road here from. in front of us, this is where uh, Custard uh, basically made his first line right about here for uh, his first attack on Lomax. Lomax was uh, a leader from the the, the Confederates. Um, so the Union soldiers from, came from that direction, headed this way. And this is the direction we're going to go now. Um, we're going to head down Woodman Road towards Telegraph. Uh, Woodman Road I guess it uh Right now we're facing southwest, and we're going to head right down this way towards Telegraph. Now when we get to Telegraph, uh, that is where the Yellow Tavern was, and that's where the battle got its name from. Now Yellow Tavern was an old run-down uh, tavern, I believe, before uh, 1864 it was, it was run down, but um, as... Sheridan's men came this way. Custer, Custer was uh, the one who was leading them against Lomax. Now, Jeb Stewart and the, the Confederate Army got to the intersection we're about to reach in a little bit um, first, about an hour early, and they set up. Now, Lomax was a, I guess, a general from the, the Confederates, and they um, they set up at this end of Telegraph, while Wickham set up his line further down Telegraph back towards the north and we're gonna head that way in a second also but um, we're approaching Brook Road now and 
once we get to this intersection, uh, I'll show you the Wawa's that we were across from is going to come up on our left. Um, so once we get to the stop sign up here, basically Brook Road to our left was not there back in 1864. So there's the Wawa's. So we were across the street at the first sign. Um, Mountain Road would come this way, and basically at this stop sign, across the street is where Telegraph begins, and in 1864, Brook Road would begin there and begin uh, head that way south to Richmond. Um, this way north was not here at that time. Um, so we're going to make a left here on Telegraph. Now, I've seen several different maps and different uh, readings. Some say that the actual Yellow Tavern was that way, a little bit about where the box truck was. Sorry about that. Um, is And some people say that uh, it was a little bit more to our left. But um, anyway, Yellow Tavern was in this direction. is either right around here at this corner. So now we're turning on the Telegraph. So the yep, tavern might have been run here or maybe this way. Now, from what I read, Lomax, um, he set up his his unit. His unit was set up along Telegraph Road, which we're on now. We're heading north. Um, so Lomax's uh, unit was led or set up this way in the direction we were going along the road. Now, eventually, Custer would uh, attack Lomax and push them back and when Lomax's uh, group or his unit was pushed back uh, they retreated north because north is where Wickham's line was and uh, where Jeb Stewart was at the time so uh, Lomax was uh, all along this way and he uh, he eventually got pushed back or pushed north um, into the other unit and uh, this uh, st the story is uh, interesting to me for uh, several reasons. Um, this neighborhood that we're actually getting ready to come up onto is where I grew up, um, and I actually didn't know this history when I was living here. Um, I knew there was a battle, but I didn't know it was actually all around here, um, as close as it was. The road that we're coming up to now, my grandmother still lives there, and then the next road after this one is the road I grew up on, and then I had an aunt and cousins that lived uh, a couple streets down. But uh, what we're getting ready to come up to, when, when Lomax retreated, they uh, supposedly had to cross five fences to get away, and the Union soldiers were coming after him. After him. And Lomax was actually this little hill that we're going down. Uh, Lomax's unit set up along this ridge, facing back the way that we came from, facing back south against uh, Custer. And this creek was called Traveler's Run. Um, eventually, Custer's group crossed this creek that we just went across and they headed this way towards Wickham's line and as they uh, that was once they defeated Lomax his group again who was uh, set up along the creek and along that little hill um, so Custer's group headed this way towards towards Wickham's line that's down here at the uh, end of Telegraph now present day uh, Telegraph ends shortly up here that is uh a dead end. It's Telegraph is now intersected by a interstate. It's um, Interstate 295. But of course, we got stuck behind a school bus. pause it. Um, this video is going to continue up here a little bit more when I get towards the end of Telegraph. Uh, so I'll continue there. Alright, so now we're here at the edge of uh, the end of Telegraph. Telegraph, we came from that way behind the bus. Uh, it's a dead end. Here's 295 that runs beside us. On the opposite side of 295, there's a ridge line, those trees. That is where Wickham's line set up and where Jeb Stewart was um, all along here. And once L Lomax's group retreated from the south, which is the way we're getting ready to head now, uh, they joined Wickham's line. So Lomax's group came from the direction we're facing and uh, joined up with Wickham. And they were being chased by Sheridan and by uh, Custer. Um, when I was younger, all these houses here, this was just a big open field. And to the right, it was woods and fields also. Um, but what I'm going to do now is we're going to turn up here on uh, New York Avenue. And we're going to, actually, we're going down to Maryland. We're going down to Maryland, and then we're going to head back up uh, 
Route 1, which is Brook Road, which wasn't there. Um, and we're going to head to the uh, site of where Jeb Stewart was mortally wounded. Um, so we're retracing our steps the way that uh, Lomax was we retreated and chased. Um, we'll go down to Turner's Run where they set up and we'll turn there. Um, and the, the cool thing about that is I used to play in that creek when I was younger and to the left uh, used to be nothing but woods when there were houses and we used to play in the woods. Um, but right here, this little creek they had to cross and this kind of a hill that we're on is where Lomax's group, his unit, uh, set up to a uh, fight as Custer pushed them back and eventually Lomax joined with with them. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down here to uh, to Brook Road. Um, at the time it was not Brook Road and I'm going to make a right and head north and we're going to end up at the, uh, the battlefield where Jeb Stewart was mortally wounded. So here we are here turning on Brook Road. <laughs> 